its entry levelness. This is super light, it's 356 grams with battery and card is. I'm sure Canon won't appreciate me doing that. Unlike the R50, this doesn't have a flippy, touchy screen. We are in 2023, and there's no touch screen. That's fine. It's very cheap. £699 with a kit lens. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to like about these kind of bodies. If you're just taking photos, it's fine. If you're shooting video, then mm, maybe not, because there's no dual pixel AF, which is surely one of the reasons why you buy Canon is for the dual pixel AF. Should, uh, 1080 then. No, I want to shoot 1080. 2023, isn't it? That's <laughs> really thin, actually. This is almost how you think a mirrorless camera should be in terms of thinness. You could pocket that quite easily. So 24 megapixels, dual pixel AF for 88% of the frame. I like it. I might just get one of these because it's just the form factor is fantastic. This enables people to take good photos. There we are. A great one-liner. That's the end of the video. Subscribe wherever it is.